We all learn to count on the number line. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can keep going on the line, keep going in that same direction, higher and higher numbers, go as far down the line as we like to get as high a number as we like. Well, did you ever think about a number circle rather than a number line? What we do is we take the number line and we chop it up at some point. We're going to use the number six for this example. And we fold it in a circle. And this is how we get modular arithmetic. So now we're in what's called modulo six or mod six. Now when we count on this number circle, we count one, two, three, four, five, zero, or six. We can call it six or zero because six is equal to zero mod six. And instead of going to seven, we go back to one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, you're actually already somewhat familiar because you learned how to tell time, didn't you, on a 12-hour clock? Well, this is called modulo 12. This 12 is actually serving a zero here, isn't it? We go from 11 and then back to zero and then one. We also learn negative numbers on the number line. We can go in the positive direction, one, two, three, four, five, six or we can go backwards in the negative direction, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. So the negatives are going off in that other direction, but we're all on the same line. So if we go to a circle instead of a line, we can still go one direction or the other. This would be the positive direction, one, two, three. And if we go backwards, we go back down to zero. Well, what's negative one mod six? Well, that would be five. And we go back to negative two is four. And negative three is three. Actually, three is its own negative, isn't it? Because three plus three is six. We're exactly halfway. And we can see we have a similar thing going on on a clock. We go one direction, one, two, three, four, five, six. We go the negative direction, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six. And we can see that these pairs from the twelve, there's this line of symmetry here from 12 to six. One plus 11 is 12, two plus 10 is 12, three plus six is 3 plus 9 is 12, 4 plus 8 is 12, 2 plus 7 is 9, and 6 plus itself is 12. Now remember, 12 is 0 here. So normally, on the, when we're thinking on number line, we think that a number and its negative add up to 0. But in this case, adding up to 12 is the same thing as adding up to 0. Besides mod 12 and mod 6, we can pick pretty much any whole number to be our basic zero point. So, for example, we, here we have mod 6, but if we fold this back a little more, then we would get mod 5, where 5 equals 0. We could get mod 4, where 4 equals 0. All the way back down to just 1, we have just one, mod one, where one equals zero, then we only have a single point. So that's not very interesting. So you won't, we're not gonna be using mod one since we can't really go anywhere from a single point. But we could use any higher integers. When we're in such a limited space where we only have, say, six numbers to choose from, how can we talk about larger numbers, any numbers larger than six? Well, we can reduce 
any lar larger number than six and give it a place on here. And we do that by, say, if we want to ask well, where does 10 lie on this circle, we would start from zero and we would count the first six and get back to zero. And then we would count seven, eight, nine, ten, And now we're at number four. So that means 10 is equal to four mod six. And if we added another six to 10, we get 16. And that would also be four. We add another six to get 22. That would also be four. And so we can do that with every number on here. And we can see that mod six, one is equal to seven and 13 and 19. And two is equal to eight and 14 and 20 and 26. And three is equal to nine and 15 and 21 and 27 and so on. The general rule is very simple. It's just divide and then take the remainder. So if we ask what is 50 mod 24, well, you know, 48 hours is two 24 hour days, right? So subtract 48 from 50 and we get the remainder of two. 50 equals two mod 24. Well, that's the gist of it. Now you know how modular arithmetic works, and so you'll be able to follow me as we explore this lost ancient knowledge.